Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about how to take a Hugging Face model repository and to deploy the model in it to Amazon SageMaker using a ML Ops pipeline built on ZenML. Now you might be wondering, why do I need to put everything into an ML Ops pipeline when I have everything um, in Hugging Face already and if I go to my Hugging Face file system, I can simply click on a few buttons and see a few lines of code that I can copy paste and run locally to deploy my model. Well, the reason is that this only happens one time and this is not a one time process. You're going to have many models that will be trained on different data artifacts with different hyperparameters and you want to track all of that in one central place so you can reproduce uh, reliably that model deployment if needed, if something goes wrong. And this is really the essence of MLOps, that you want to take something which is a one-time process and put it in a repeatable manner inside a pipeline so you can do it again and again. And it's sort of not running just on your machine, but somewhere centrally and is tracking everything. So that's the value that ZenML brings to this entire process. Let's go through the process overview. So this might look a bit complicated at the start, but Bear with me, this is going to get easier as we go through it one by one. First, we start with our feature engineering pipeline. The feature engineering pipeline simply takes your data, tokenizes it, and creates a tokenized data with some pre-processing. This tokenized data set is put into an artifact store each time the feature engineering pipeline is run. So every time you run this pipeline, you create a new version of your data set. This is important because you want to track all the versions of your data that are, um, that are being produced. ZenML takes care of this artifact storage. This can be an S3 bucket, this can be a local file system, but the important thing is that this is being tracked in these marked versions. Then we move on to the training pipeline. This takes a version of the data set that you produced in the previous pipeline and trains a model on it. It then takes the model and the tokenizer and pushes them to Hugging Face, creating a commit on the Hugging Face repository and tracking all of that metadata into one central place, which we call the ZenML model control plane. The ZenML model control plane is the thing that binds everything together. It is a feature of ZenML, which allows you to create a notion of a model and to put all the related artifacts, the data artifacts, the model artifacts, into one singular box. So every time you look at it, you can see exactly how it was trained and what pipelines ran and where it's deployed. Of course, every time you run a training pipeline, this will again produce more and more versions and you might have many versions at the end of your experiments. And this is where you go into your promotion pipeline. The promotion pipeline simply takes the latest model that you produced and compares it against all the other models that have ever run. And if this model is better, based on some business logic that I have uh, in my pipeline, it marks that one as the production model. What does that mean? Well, that simply means that this is ready to be deployed. And that is the job of our last pipeline, which is the deployment pipeline. The deployment pipeline takes the production model, pulls it, and then deploys it to Amazon SageMaker without you having to worry about the configuration of that. All of this can be automated and put into a central orchestrator to run anytime you want it, and will be tracked with all of the ZenML metadata, which will be very important so that your team can collaborate, because this is, again, a lot of complexity, but it's very easy when you put it inside these pipelines. In this series, we're going to be talking about this process one pipeline at a time. And I hope you join me in this tutorial so that we can deep dive and learn more about MLOps with ZenML. See you in the next video.